Would you like to recommend a next best offer to your customers based on a market basket analysis of product purchase transactions? This tutorial will guide you through a market basket analysis scenario using the Association Rules feature. The BERT Analytics Association Rules feature identifies items that frequently follow other items in transaction-based data and is ideally suited for determining product recommendations and next best offers. The algorithm models a rule like so. If a customer purchases item A and item B, the customer also purchases item C. In this way, we can learn the ideal products to suggest to customers based on the other products that they have purchased. Begin by clicking the Analytics tab, then click the Advanced Inner tab. Click the Association Rules button to launch the Association Rules Editor. We will examine product purchases by basket ID and product category in order to learn what categories typically follow others in the transactions. In the Data Browser, expand the Item Association table in the Retail Database. Then drag the Basket ID field and drop it into the Transaction ID property of the Association Rules Editor. Next, drag the Product Category field and drop it into the Transaction Item property. Next, we establish acceptable accuracy for the rule. The Minimum Support property specifies the minimum percentage of transactions that must contain all the items in the rule. We can leave this at its default setting of 10%. The Minimum Confidence property measures how good the rule is at predicting the right-hand side of the THEN clause by comparing how often the result appears when the condition on the left-hand side of the THEN clause is true. Let's adjust this setting to 50%. With our properties set, click Calculate to review the result. On the Results tab, expand the Antecedent column to see the categories if necessary. The Antecedent column displays the product categories on the left-hand side of the THEN clause in our rule, while the Consequent column displays the product categories on the right-hand side of the THEN clause. The Support column displays the percentage of transactions that contain this product combination while the Confidence column displays the percentage of accuracy for the prediction by measuring how often the rule is true. The Lift column displays how well the rule is at randomly predicting the consequent. A lift of 1 or higher means that the rule appears more than expected, indicating a statistically significant cross-selling opportunity, as also indicated by the Star icon in the Opportunity column. Now we can see what products are typically purchased in combination and understand what combinations are statistically relevant based on the association rules algorithm. Suppose we want to see what other products we should cross-sell for a specific product category, such as decorating. Click the Parameters tab on the Association Rules Editor, then double-click the Product Category field in the Data Browser to display the individual values. Drag the Decorating value and drop it into the Antecedent Items filter property. Then click Calculate. Now we can plainly see that electrical and garden products are the main products that customers buy along with decorating products. It really is that easy to do market basket analysis with BERT Analytics.